Welcome back, folks. It is 547 on this terrific Tuesday morning. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump into the forecast. If we take a look at America's Mattress live tower cam right now, it's still dark outside, and that's going to continue to be the trend, at least until 730 a.m. when that sun comes up on over the Mesa. And once it does, we are going to see some cloudy skies and some cooler temperatures. Now, over the western slope, we do have a winter storm watch over in Eagle County as well as those surrounding counties and some cooler temperatures expected at least until Thursday at 6 a.m. Now folks keep that in mind because if you've got weekend travel plans in mind whether that be on Thursday or even on Friday those road conditions could be icy or slick continuing into Friday and even into Saturday due to this, these winter storms that could be moving on over the continental divide. Now folks tomorrow is the winter solstice it's just one day away and I want to remind you to uh, keep in mind that uh, to make sure that you've got your snow tires or your chains on you just in case of any roadside emergencies, especially as we travel these ne these this weekend and the next upcoming weekend for uh, the new year. Now, we do have a chance for some storms to move on in just in time for the winter solstice, bringing us just about one or two inches um, in some of the higher elevation areas over the San Juans and over the Continental Divide. Now, in some areas like Elkhead or even uh, closer to Gunnison, we could be getting up to a foot in some of those areas. Now, if we take a look a little bit more now, Actually, this chance of snow is currently hanging out uh uh, over Wyoming, but soon uh, as the next 24, 48 hours move on, it's going to get closer and closer to hitting us down here on the continental divide. Now, um, on, uh, here on the western slope, it's not too much of a chance, but I'm more focusing on you folks that are planning to move e or uh, travel eastward for the holiday towards Denver. Now, we also want to take a look, folks. We've got cold air headed our way as well, colder than our average uh, uh, as we continue on. Right now, we're looking at 16 degrees in Grand Junction. We're looking at 10 degrees in Montrose. Further east of us, we are looking to be on the cooler side of things down in those single digits in Glenwood, uh, Aspen, and even in the negatives in Gunnison, and that's going to continue to be the trend. But if we take a look at our almanac, it looks like we're going to be rocking at 15 for our low instead of our typical 17. And on the high end, we're just matching up with our average at 37. So not too much wiggle room, but we are definitely still on the cooler side of things. Now, our wind speeds right now are three miles an hour in Grant Junction and six in Montrose. And as the day continues, Continues on. Those winds are going to stay pretty mild, but uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours, the so wind speeds are definitely going to pick up. And over the San Juans, we could get up to 60 mile per hour winds. And further eastward over the divide, we could get up to 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. So keep that in mind also as you're traveling, because with this uh, small storm that's moving on in, those winds could cause low visibility and uh, icy roads very, very fast with that wind chill. Right now, we're looking at, at, at 11 degrees in Grand Junction right now as you're feeling on your morning commute in zero in Montrose. So keep that in mind because as these cooler temperatures wrap us into our weekend for that weekend travel, I want you to stay warm. Now Montrose has that same kind of trend, even dipping us down into those single digits. Now folks, if you have travel plans, I want you to leave before uh, noon or 10 a.m. on Friday and Saturday or after 6 p.m. to avoid traffic and drive safely. Stay warm, Western Soap.